Michael. And Mr. Who? Alan Merrill. Yes, this is Alan Merrill. You, 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 it's an extraordinary landscape of music that is painted. Yeah, and this is coming from. Flashes of genius there. <laughs> This is coming from a genius That's, musician himself. I have no idea. This man wrote the song, I Love Rock and Roll. Did you ever hear that song? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm the original yeah. artist. I, I'm yeah, he's like a living legend. That's fantastic. Yeah. That was recorded famously by Joan Jett. Yeah. Yeah, she saw me do it on television in England in 1976, and she bought my record. Yeah. That's a dream, I think, of all you know, songwriters, you know, just to... Yeah, so how old were you when you started fiddling on this thing? So... so it's kind of funny, you know where I saw him playing? I, I saw him in Guitar Center, like in the back room, playing on an instrument. And I was, Banjo. Really? Yeah, and, and he was playing so great, and he said, uh, I never played on this before. <laughs> I know. Turn up the banjo, just, you know. This tuning, this tuning is D-A-D-G-A-E? Just regular E-A-D-G-B-E. You're kidding. Okay, I hear it. The, the thing, it's extraordinary. The thing, the thing is, you want to, you know, when you play for so long, you try, you try to get you know, the most out of the guitar itself, out of the easiest way possible. I think that's the way, you know, most no, of life... No, that's how I play. Most of life uh, it doesn't like, sound like you, you get, play like that. That's what happens with years of practice. What happened was in the fourth grade, they decided that I couldn't play the trumpet. So I said, you know what? Fuck them. I'm going to play the guitar. Yeah. So I picked up the guitar. I said, you know, I'm going to keep playing and playing. Pretty much locked myself in a room. Pretty much until I met my dear Susie there. She oh. gives me the courage to pretty much come out and... She made me come here, and, I, and I'm more than happy to be here right now. Well, we're I, so I, happy. I booked you enough. This is, yeah, I, and this finally. is like uh, two strikes, right? Yeah, and, and mm -hmm. then this one. So you come from Staten Island, though. That's correct, Staten so, Island. So were you guys hurt during Sandy? Very much so. As a matter oh, of fact, man. we had a studio. Um, I'm in a band called the Hypnotic Machines. Okay. And um, we had a studio near the water, which was completely flooded during the storm. Right. So we've had a lot of setbacks last right. year. However, um... I'm looking to. Well, the keep big my check hand. just came to New York yesterday, I think, <laughs> right? So maybe you'll get a little piece of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, yeah. That'd be great. That'd be wonderful to get everything moving back, get the yeah. music flowing. I feel everything. like everything's been pushed. I just want to say, um, I thank thank you and and you for um bringing underground artists who aren't heard, you know, to the to the spotlight at least if it's not for 15 minutes, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, because I think everybody is so cool. It, it's, it's true. I'm amazed at your technique on the guitar. It's just so ethereal. So ethereal. Yeah, like the... Right? Yeah, and it just sort of, I mean, it just flows like water. It's great. I think it comes, it comes from not really trying to trying to play other people's songs. Like sometimes you learn, at first you start to play other your favorite songs, and after a while you just start to play whatever you, whatever you, yeah. whatever you got inside. It's an unusual you. approach to the guitar, I think. I, I'd love to... Uh, play more for you another time. If that I would be awesome. So, <laughs> so I got a site where you can be reached. The thing is I do have a Facebook. Okay. Uh, I I um my philosophy of music is that it's uh, I, the reason why I don't come with any sort of merchandise or paraphernalia is because I feel like it's such a fleeting thing in our lives, music. It's just you, it really? comes to you and it leaves However, that's not stopping me from producing a recording. If people want to contact you, they can get you through Facebook. Correct. Yes. As Michael Max Libert uh, at Facebook. Also, research hypnoticmachines.com, yeah, yeah, so which is also another venture. How long that have I'm you been playing on. with the band? I've been playing for uh, about two years. Nice. How many people are in it? It's a three piece group. Okay. And, and it's one of the most interesting projects I've ever worked on. It's funk, punk. Dunk. Um, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. So the surname is spelled L I B E R T for those of you who will be looking for yes, it. Yes, Michael you. Max Lippert. Yeah, so did, P you, so much. did you what? It's not a P. Lippert. It sounds like a P. Oh. It's like Lippert. How do you say it? Yeah. Lippert. Lippert. Like, like Liberty. Liberty. Correct. Without Liberty. the Y. That's how I have to pronounce That's how I have to explain it to people. Oh, really? <laughs> So I've finally got it. Liberty. Exactly. So what we do on our show, it is National Chopstick Day, and we like you to share a skeleton from your closet, Whoa. and then you can chopstick something and take it with you. Well, my first skeleton is that I've never used chopsticks before. Oh. So maybe you could just uh, teach me before I tell you my... Uh, okay, so... Spirit. Um, you, yeah, someone did, but um, my father taught me how, actually, and... Um, the bottom one is stationary, and he always said the top one you hold like a pencil, uh -huh. okay. and then you just go like that. My father taught me how to do chopsticks. See, and it's like, watch, I'll mess it up. 
So, uh, skeletons in the closet. Yeah. Well, uh, for one, um, I'm afraid of flying insects near my ear buzzing. <laughs> I'm um, I, um, I don't like to sleep with socks on. Okay. I, um, Not British. When I'm too, <laughs> when I'm too lazy to uh, go to the restroom, I pee in a Poland spring bottle. I think that's enough skeletons I think, for you uh, for this day. Yeah, and you can take one for the adorable girlfriend who dragged you here, too. Come here, baby. Aww. <laughs> she was with him in Guitar Center. She's with him all the time. Say hello. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> oh, these are good. Yeah. Oh, they're delicious. Yeah. So, you want to share a skeleton today? Yeah. 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 Um, come over here. Vinny How long have you guys been together? Seven months. Oh. oh. That's seven months of my life. Very cute. So what's the skeleton? Here, we got little Valentine hearts for you guys. I'm going to try to take it with a chopstick. Yeah. Oh, thank nice. you. Good job. She's smart. But what's your skeleton first? School, come on. Oh, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it should be that part. Um, um, my mom actually, when I was 11 years old, she caught me watching porn too. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's being porn. That was the better clapping. Come back anytime. All right, happy Valentine's Day, you guys. We'll be back. We got more fun. Ingrid and the Defectors coming up. Here.